All right, Howie Long, let's get back to a game we talked about earlier. Washington getting a win and moving into first place in the NFC East. Yeah, and we said that division was wide open, and, and it's imbalanced for Carolina. 18 rushes, 40 passes. That's not the identity of who the Panthers are. 81 yards on the ground, three turnovers. That was the key to the game, particularly early on. They had their opportunities down the stretch to maybe pull, and pull it off at the end, but uh, to no avail. Well, I, I, well, I think Carolina, you had third and five. Why are you trying to go to the end zone both times? Go for the first, the first down. down. Yeah. Well, he may plenty. have had that route there to, go, to get the first down, but his, his read said it was covered and he was four deep. I don't think he necessarily, Cam is, just went deep. I think his progression took him deep because I think, I think the underneath uh, stuff, I think, was covered. I think Washington did a heck of a job on him. Well, I'm calling the play to get the underneath stuff so I can get a first down. <laughs> but I have four more downs to go. Well, I but agree I also, with that. So but then when you look at Washington, though, yes. one thing I did like about the Redskins today is that if you were over 30, you were helping that team win. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Smith, um, Vernon Davis led, led the team receptions with a touchdown. Adrian Peterson, when they needed him down the stretch, especially. We saw that Adrian Peterson of old ran hard, ran tough. He knew where he needed to get to pick up these first downs, and he got it done. And look at the stat line. <laughs> we were talking about this 1982, 21 for 36, 163, two touchdowns, zero interceptions for Alex Smith. And letting your running back run for 97 yards, right. which is what Adrian yeah, Peterson right. did. They got the win to Turnovers. go to three and two. All right. Hey, you know what? Let's get back to that Atlanta-Tampa <laughs> game. Boy, at the end, Tampa almost pulled out the miracle, Tony Gonzalez, but Atlanta wound up holding on to win. Matt Ryan, the way, the way he's playing, uh, with all the injuries, too. Calvin Ridley goes down today. Uh, Muhammad Sanu goes down today. And what does he do? He just picks up, uh, keeps always going to go to the old faithful guy in Julio Jones. But Austin Cooper, the tight end, yeah. he came out and played really re – Hooper, I'm sorry. He came out and played really, really well. And Matt – you do what you got to do. This is what winners do. Obviously, I played with Matt. He's a champion. Uh, he's never, ever going to give up. He's always going to be in the game when you got a guy like him. He's one of those guys that can go for big chunks of yardage. 354 yards, three touchdowns, uh, and they got the win. You, but you, you caught balls from him. Throws a nice ball, easy to catch. He throws a nice ball. Nice. Because yeah. uh, well, some, uh, soft, some quarterbacks throw a hard ball. Yeah. 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 Julio, another 143 <laughs> yards receiving and still no touchdowns. <laughs> Hasn't had one since week 11, I think, last year. But if you look at the stat line of this game with the quarterback, they both threw 41 yeah. balls. Um, one, uh, the, Jameis, 30 completions. Matt, four, 31 completions. Jameis for more yards. The only thing is two turnovers. Yeah. Red zone turnovers. Hurts you every time. You can't win <clears throat> turning the ball over. Yeah, and their offense has to is that. We talked about it in the pregame because of their defense and where they are physically. That offense has to be great. Matt has to be great. Mm -hmm. Even though two wide receivers go down, as you mentioned, he does go to Hooper, which is uh, an, another facet of that offense that hasn't been used, but he's a good player. Kind you can see how good this team could be if they could just – Running bodies. backs get their running backs. Yeah. Keep their Devontae receiver. Freeman didn't play yeah, again. ball did you throw? Yeah, it I was going to say, beat up. Hard ball, beat up. Well, this is how about. most pro, this is how you're supposed to grip it, and this is how you're supposed to have your finger down below it like this. And when you throw it, the nose comes out down, and the revolutions <laughs> roll it back up and square it up. So, so back. So that was I the wrong was taught, one. I was taught to throw with my fingers to keep a pocket so the ball always had the nose up. Which I thought was easier okay. to catch. Okay, if you're a Rams fan, your heart is very warm after that three-point win today to stay undefeated, 6 nothing. You know, it, it's a fascinating offense, obviously. You know, the play calling, the bells and the whistles, the motions, change of tempo, the jet sweeps, all that. But when the weather's bad, you're at mile high, you're on the road, it's loud, you need someone to dictate terms. This guy is special, and we knew he was special from the minute he got – to the Rams, but with this expanded offense, Tony, it, it just makes them really difficult to defend. Yeah, and it's like he's the MVP of the league right now. You can make, put that argument up, and them putting up points like this, it makes the other teams of uh, offense one-dimensional.